Hey guys, so today I'm doing another pregnancy video. Um, so if you guys aren't into the pregnancy stuff, then this one probably won't be for you, but I have been getting so many questions about um, my pregnancy routine and what products I'm using on my skin and my body and things like that. So I thought I would do a little video that's kind of a pregnancy routine video, but it's gonna be a little bit more chatty than a normal kind of, oh, my morning routine, because I'm not gonna be talking about makeup, obviously, I'm just talking about like kind of body and skincare stuff. So I'm gonna talk and then include um, cutaways of me actually doing certain things, but I'm not actually gonna obviously show you like me in the shower and stuff like that, because that would just be weird. Um, so the first thing that I've changed about my routine being pregnant is introduce um, vitamins. That was one of the first things I, I did when I found out I was pregnant. Um, so now, I will go downstairs first thing in the morning. This is the other thing. I wake up so hungry, like unbelievably hungry every single morning. So I used to like kind of get ready and then have breakfast. Now I just go straight downstairs, have breakfast, take my vitamins. And it's actually got me into a really nice little routine, which I really like because I, obviously being a blogger as my job, I, I have like no strict routine in my life. So it's quite nice to like have something that kind of makes you a bit more routine and kind of scheduled and um, it kind of makes my mornings a little bit more structured, which I really like. So I go downstairs, have usually a big bowl of cereal. In the winter, I think I'm gonna change to porridge because it's a little bit more healthy and I can pop some like blueberries or banana or whatever in it. Um, but in the summer, I really did not feel like eating porridge and I wanted like a carby breakfast because I was just so hungry every single morning. So I have a bowl of cereal, I have a whole glass of water and then usually like a green tea or um, a decaf coffee, however I'm feeling that day. Um, and then I take my vitamins. I've been taking the Pregnacare Max ones. Um, these were just the ones that my sister recommended to me and I've been getting on really, really well with them. My um, like blood test level results came back like stellar across the board for all of my kind of like iron and vitamin D and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, they seem to be working. So I take those every single day. They're quite hefty, but um, yeah, they seem to be working. And then I usually jump in the shower and I have changed my routine in the shower quite a lot since I've become pregnant. Um, the main thing is that I'm using a lot more kind of richer, oilier body products to keep my skin moisturized. I know stretch marks are generally genetic and you can't 100% like avoid them by using product, but I'm still gonna try because I don't want stretch marks. Um, and also I've noticed that my whole body is a lot more dry and sensitive since I've been pregnant. So I've introduced quite a few things into my routine. The first one being shower oils. And I've spoken about this Kiehl's one a few times before. This is the creme de corps. Um, smoothing oil to foam body cleanser. I have almost, almost finished this. And I have to say, I love it, but it's really pricey. Um, the other one that I've been using is the Ritual Shanti Shower, Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil Soothing Shower, which is a very similar kind of consistency. I really like both of these. So I use these to wash my body, although I need a new one because they're both, that one's finished, that one's almost finished. Um, and it just helps to kind of like, Obviously it's a body wash, but it doesn't like strip your skin. It still leaves your skin feeling really moisturized and nice. Um, and then I've been using this, which is my Lush Rose Argan body conditioner. This one's actually brand new because I've just finished off the lemon one that I had. But the rose one is so much nicer. I think the lemon one was limited edition anyway, so I don't think you can buy it at the moment. But it is, oh my God, if you guys haven't tried this stuff, you don't obviously have to be pregnant to use it. I used it before, but um, I've kind of reintroduced it into my routine because it's so lovely on your skin. It's like a uh, body lotion, but you use it in the shower. So you massage it into your skin after you've washed, but you still rinse it off. So it's almost like a hair conditioner. So you, you like really massage it into your skin. It's really oily. You've got to be careful not to use too much because I think this pot's about 15 pounds. And if you use too much, it will go so quickly and you really don't need to. Um, it's really tempting just to have a massive scoop and like slather it all over your body but you don't need to use that. Like when you want to be kind of rinsing off, you want it to be just a little bit coming off. You obviously don't like want to be wasting it. So just a word of warning, like a little bit does go a lot further than you think. It just smells so, so delicious. And it leaves a really gorgeous kind of like veil of kind of oil on your skin, but it's not greasy. It just, it oh, it's just so nice. It doesn't leave you with that like greasy body oil feeling, but it just really leaves your skin super, super moisturized. So that has been a good addition as well. Then for my hair, quick mention, I know it's it's not that kind of relevant for um, pregnancy, but I've actually been using the Whey um, Volume Shampoo and Conditioner, and I really like this stuff. I wasn't expecting to, 
Um, I didn't really know, I'd heard quite a lot about it, but when it came out, I was a bit like, mm, is it gonna be a bit gimmicky? Because it's obviously um, Jen Atkins' um, hair line, and obviously she's got big from doing the Kardashians' hair and things like that. I was kind of like, oh, you know, I'll give it a go and see what it's like. It's actually so, so good. And what I have found since being pregnant is that I need to wash my hair, like, once every five days. So I wash it probably three times every two weeks at the moment, and it is just so nice. Like, I, my hair doesn't get greasy. It doesn't, like, it just, I don't know why. I just, seriously, my hair will go for days and days and days without washing. And saying that in, like, a non-gross way, like, obviously, if I have dirty hair, I'll wash it more frequently than that. But um, a lot of the time at night, I'll just kind of tie it up out of the way or plait it or something, and it just kind of stays out of the way. And it's so nice not to have to wash my hair all the time. Um, I usually wash it between, like, three and three days, I'd say, every three days. Um, but I honestly, like seriously don't need to wash my hair very much at the moment, which is awesome because I have long, thick hair as well. So it's like, it's a bit of a pain to like blow dry it and style it and things. So I've been using those, really, really like them. And then also whilst I'm in the shower, in the morning I tend to use um, the Evlon Balm Cleanser or Gel Balm Cleanser. I kind of go in between this and the um, Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, yeah, that's it. Um, I've been using this a bit more recently and I like this because it gives you the kind of nourishing feeling of using a cleansing balm, but at the same time, it's not like, you don't have to use a muslin cloth with it or a flannel. So it kind of, it's a little bit more convenient to use in the shower. And obviously I don't have my makeup on in the morning because I've taken it off the night before. So I kind of, it's just like a one and done in the shower. And I don't have to actually like wash my face separately to that. Um, so I've really been liking that. And again, it's really kind of like nourishing to my skin, but not like too much. I really like that a lot. And then when it comes to my skincare routine in the morning, I've stripped it right back. Like I am a massive fan of retinoids. Obviously they're in mostly like an evening thing anyway in your skincare routine, but you're not supposed to use those when you're pregnant. And there's a lot of other kind of ingredients that people say to steer clear of and things like that when you're pregnant. Mostly my skin has been really good, so I haven't needed anything really targeted. It hasn't been getting super dry on my face. It has been on my body, like on my legs especially. Um, but my face has been pretty fine, so I've just stuck to using my favourite um, Sarah Chapman Skinesis Skin Insurance with SPF 30. This is actually a tinted moisturiser as well. So on those days where I don't want to wear makeup, or if I'm just about going about the house, or like, you know, going to the supermarket or whatever, if I'm not filming, or kind of in meetings or taking photos or whatever, I'll just wear this on its own, um, maybe with a little bit of concealer and mascara, and it's just so good because it's really moisturizing. It does everything that I kind of need it to do for my skin, but it has SPF 30 in it, and it's just got a little bit of a tint of something. So it's just really good, kind of like makes you feel, this makes me feel really good about my skin. You know, one of those days where you're like, oh yeah, I'm having a good, really good skin day. This does that for me. So I really love that. And then I've been using the Sarah Chapman Eye Recovery Eye Cream as well. And this is actually the first time I tried this because I love every single Sarah Chapman product I've used. I think I just absolutely love, and I'd never tried the eye cream. So this is a new addition to my routine, um, not because of being pregnant, just because of, discovering it and it's so good. The only thing I would say with this is that it tends to dispense a little bit more than I need. So I usually end up like, you have to be like super careful, just get a tiny bit, put it around my eyes. And then if I have any extra, I'll put it like around my lip. I don't know if that is like a stupid thing to do, but I feel like the skin around your lips is super like, I don't know, it gets wrinkly as well as around your eyes. <laughs> so I was like, I don't want to waste it because it's so good. Um, so that's it for my like skincare routine. Super, super basic. Um, for my body, I've like taken away like 10 products from my face and added three for my body. So what I tend to do is use my um, Being By Sanctuary um, Spa Chili Mango and Tonka Bean Body Butter. I've spoken about this, this was in my last month's favorites. Um, and I use this all over my body except for my tummy and my boobs. So this will go on my arms and legs and like my bum and stuff. Um, it smells amazing and it's really rich and moisturizing but it's very, very quickly absorbed so you don't feel greasy or anything and I just noticed it honestly makes my skin like feel really nice for an extended period of time afterwards so it's not like you know what I mean some of those body lotions that you put on and then it doesn't actually seem to do anything so yeah some body lotions I find 
um, kind of like they feel really nice when you put them on but they don't actually make a difference to your skin like the next day or whatever whereas this just keeps my skin so moisturized and nice and it's 10 pounds as well from Boots so obviously in a massive pot so I think that's a good one and then what I tend to do is pop this on my tummy and my boobs and sometimes my like hips and bum a little bit as well basically anywhere that I want to try and prevent stretch marks again like I said in the beginning a lot of the time stretch marks are genetic so fingers crossed but I actually really love using this product anyway so um it smells pretty good um so yeah I've been using this pretty much every day some days if I'm feeling a little bit lazy or if I'm in a hurry and I have to put my clothes on straight away I won't use this because it is obviously a, like a, a butter um and it's it's like a solid oil so if you want to not be oily I'll just use like the body lotion all over but what I do with this it comes solid and you basically as you can see I've used up loads of it you like scrape out a bit it's very much like a cleansing balm you scrape out however much you need and then just massage it in and I actually really like the kind of process of massaging my tummy as well I never ever thought I would say that but it's really nice when you're pregnant to just like take a bit of time to like massage your tummy and like yeah it's really nice so I really like this really affordable I love the Palmer's products for body stuff I always have done love their lip balm as well actually um so yeah it's really nice to use that in the mornings and then what I usually do is pop my dressing down dressing gown back on and then do like my hair and my makeup whatever else I need to do wait for it all to like really sink in before putting my clothes on so like I said if I'm in a hurry I tend to skip the butter so then in the evenings if I'm really tired I will tend to skip anything body and just get straight in my PJs but if I'm having a little bit more like or if I have a bit more time and I'm spending a bit more time getting ready for bed and stuff I'll use a body oil at night as well and I'll use this one which is the Trilogy Pure Plant Body Oil if I am dry all over I'll put this literally all over my body and I'm like a greasy chip um but if I'm not I'll just put it on my tummy and my boobs um and then again sometimes like my bum and thighs and stuff as well um but I like this one because it's all natural so it only has rose hips sweet almond and apricot oil in it that's like the only ingredients um it is quite heavy and it takes a long time to sink in but when it sinks in so like in the morning you wake up and your skin just feels amazing so what I tend to do with this is put it on at night in like pajamas that I don't really care about you know like not like silk pajamas or whatever I'll put on like an old t-shirt and some like joggers or whatever um and it just like all sinks in and then by the morning my skin is super super soft so I love that and then for my evening skincare routine a lot of the time I'm super tired um pregnancy makes you so tired so what I tend to do is remove my makeup with um face wipes these ones are the micellar cleansing wipes from simple which I do really like I also like the original simple wipes I like the Neutrogena ones in the blue packet, but for some reason my local Superdrug doesn't sell those. Um, I like the Ulla Henriksen ones, but I haven't had those in a while because they're expensive. Um, there's a few different face wipes that I like. I'm never like specifically loyal to just the one type, um, but the simple ones are generally like, they work, they don't kind of sting my eyes and they take my makeup off really effectively. Sometimes I'll use micellar water, but a lot of the time I'll le like maybe do some reading or whatever in the evening and I'll, s I'll just sit on my bed and then take my makeup off whilst I'm sitting there reading and then go and wash my face after instead of like, I don't know, it's that super lazy, but these basically stay on my bedside table and then just whenever I wanna use them. And then after I've taken my makeup off, I'll use um, my Sarah Chapman Ultimate Cleanse Cleanser with a flannel and just like properly cleanse my skin. And I like doing that after taking my makeup off just because you can't, I mean, you can do it with your makeup on and it does remove all your makeup amazingly well. Um, but then sometimes you might have to do a second cleanse and usually like I say I'm pretty tired so I just you do it once and just my skin feels amazing after that. I've used this for a few years now and it's my absolute favourite. It's expensive but it is amazing. Like the best cleanser in the world. So I tend to use that at night. And then before bed, again these live on my bedside table so after cleansing I'll literally get straight into bed. I'll be like oh I'm ready to pass out. I'll pop on some... Um, of my formula ultimate sleep cream and this is an M&S brand this product has been like absolutely massively hyped up by loads of beauty journalists in the last few months um, and it's so so nice it's actually really really good it's a kind of it almost feels a little bit silicone-y like it's very very smoothing in the way it feels on your skin but it's just super super moisturizing it smells really kind of fresh almost quite fruity actually um it doesn't smell like a typical night cream I have to say it smells more like I'd expect a day cream to smell like um but it's really nice and it, your skin is just super happy and plump and 
lovely when you go to bed and then in the morning as well it's still kind of really moisturized and soft and then I've been using this stuff on my eyes which is the Estee Lauder Advanced Light Repair Eye Concentrate Matrix um, and this is like a, kind of in between an eye cream and an eye serum um, but it has that same feel to it that Advanced Light Repair has so if you've used that Again, it's quite like smoothing feeling. Um, so this is just really, really nice under your eyes and just kind of like helps to keep you looking fresh faced in the morning, which like I said before, my skin's been pretty good, but I haven't been sleeping that well. So I feel like having like a really nice nighttime routine does help me with that. The other thing that I have been using as part of my kind of like nighttime routine is a pregnancy pillow. I've had this since really early on. I actually have two different ones. One of them I bought from Amazon, which is a giant like double pronged pregnancy pillow that you sit in the middle of, and then you can kind of cuddle either side and then the other side supports your back. So I find that one really good, but it takes up like three quarters of the bed. It's seriously ridiculously large. Um, and the other one that I have is a BB Hug Me, which I got sent from an awesome website called Scandiborn, um, who really kindly just reached out and said, did I want to pick anything from the site? Um, and I actually really love that. They are expensive though. Um, I think they're about 150 pounds or something like that. Um, but it is great because you can also use it as a um, breastfeeding pillow and things like that once the baby arrives. But it's made out of those like really squishy beans. Um, you know like you get those like travel pillows that are made out of those like micro bead beany things. Um, and it just totally molds to you. So sometimes I use that, sometimes I use the other one depending on how I'm feeling. So I'll get like nice and kind of cozy in with my pillow, <laughs> cuddle up to it, whatever. Usually I do some reading at night as well. Um, I've been reading so many different pregnancy books and if you'd like to see a post on pregnancy books or I might put it in a vlog because I feel like I don't want to overload this channel with pregnancy content. Um, I might do either do a vlog or a blog post on like the best pregnancy books um, that I've read. I think I've read about five or six at the moment and they're all, they've all been based on recommendations as well. So um, yeah, I like, I'm, I'm really getting into the reading. I'm really geeking out, especially on the sciencey stuff. I love all the sciencey stuff around pregnancy. Um, so yeah, let me know if that's something you guys would wanna see, but I usually spend um, a little bit of time reading. If I'm upstairs in my room for a long time, I might like light a candle or whatever, but I don't tend to like have a candle burning when I'm like in bed or whatever, because it's just a bit fumey and yeah. Um, also I find that keeping a candle like next to my bed even if you don't light it, I can usually kind of smell it, which is quite nice anyway, so you don't actually have to burn it. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I go to sleep and then wake up again and do it all again in the morning at 6.30. And this is another thing, my internal body clock, dear Lord, it wakes me up at 6.30 every day, no matter whether I need to get up, whether I don't need to wake up, I'm just like, ping, awake at 6.30, sometimes 6.33, how weird is that? Um, anyway, so that is it for my kind of like pregnancy, beauty and kind of body routine. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, <laughs> let me know or give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.